us with more. Now, hey, Natalie, so what was hey. the most tweeted part of the night? Well, it was that last-minute interception that led to the Patriots winning and the Seahawks not winning. And I think fans just erupted and were just talking about it. It was the perfect talker moment. Okay, so with nearly so. 30 million tweets, obviously, it's hard to sort of sum them all up. But generally speaking, were the tweets family-friendly and enriching to the viewing experience, or were they nasty and troll-like? I think they're very reactionary, so people are talking about it. During Katy Perry's Super Bowl performance, you had a lot of people making memes and talking about the dancing sharks, which I think is pretty family-friendly. But you had a lot of people just reacting and talking. There weren't too many side conversations or anything like that. Record ratings for the game, we're hearing. Record dollar mm -hmm. amounts spent for the TV ads. We're going to talk about the ads in just a moment. But curious if social media had anything to do with that. Probably. I mean, you saw there were less hashtags used this year than last year. Interesting. But they also had you had people that were t advertising off of TV and onto social media. So Volvo did this cool thing where anytime there was a car commercial for any other car, they people could tweet to Volvo and enter to win a car. So they weren't advertising on TV. They were letting all the other car, adver car companies do that for them. And they were giving away a car just solely on Twitter kind of random. So from social media to society and social interaction, what I'm getting at is my own experience sitting at a Super Bowl party, everybody on the couch watching the game and watching their phone and not mm -hmm. talking to one another. So I'm curious <laughs> if you think, Natalie, that social media and tweeting may backlash and it may taper off in years to come. You know, I think it's interesting. Maybe it depends on what kind of party you're at, too. I mean, if you're at this party where you want to be talking to your friends, but there could be some backlash as people kind of tend to be like, oh, I don't need to go to a party. I can just watch it on my phone and feel connected and feel a community there. It, gives, it adds to the viewing experience, too, though. It does. It certainly is another dimension to that. Natalie Andrews <laughs> with The Wall Street Journal on the social media impact on the Super Bowl. Thank you so much once again.